welcome to concrete mix design tutorial in this tutorial we will discuss step by step procedure to design a mix so let's get started with the tutorial step 1 is about calculation of target mean strength indian standard gives two expressions to calculate target mean strength the factors s and x are selected from table 1 and table 2 of IS 10262. The maximum value obtained from two expressions is adopted as target mean strength of concrete. Step 2 is about selection of water cement ratio. As per clause, water cement ratio is selected by establishing the relationship between strength of concrete and free water cement ratio. However, in the 2019 edition of IS 10262, a chart is given. This chart has three curves. Curve 1 is for OPC 33 grade of cement, Curve 2 is for OPC 43 and Curve 3 is for OPC 53 grade of cement. Depending on the target mean strength obtained in step 1 and the grade of cement to be adopted in mixed design, corresponding water cement ratio is obtained from the chart. This obtained water cement ratio is then checked against the permissible maximum free water cement ratio given in table 5 of IS 456-2000. The limit on maximum water cement ratio is tabulated for plain concrete as well as reinforced concrete depending on the exposure conditions. Next step is the estimation of air content. This is new clause added in 2019 edition. Clause says that the approximate amount of entrapped air can be taken from table 3 of IS 10262. The values given in table 3 are for 1 meter cube of concrete depending on the nominal maximum size of aggregates we are using in the mix. However, if the actual values of air content are available from site data, then those can be used. Step 4 is about selection of water content. Table 4 of IS 10262 gives the basic quantity of water content to be used depending on the nominal maximum size of aggregate. This water content has to be modified with certain corrections. This is because depending on the texture of aggregate or the addition of admixture, water content can be altered. The values given in table 4 are for angular aggregates, 50 mm of expected slum and no admixture condition. The first correction is aggregate shape correction. As smoothness of aggregate increases, workability of mix also increases. Therefore, for constant amount of workability, water has to be reduced in the mix. So, if we are using aggregates other than angular type, then this correction needs to be applied. For subangular aggregates, water content can be reduced by 10 kgs per meter cube of concrete. Whereas, for crushed gravels and rounded gravels, water content can be reduced by 20 and 25 kgs respectively. After applying this correction, new water content is termed as WC1. Second type of correction is slump value correction. If we are designing the mix for higher workability, then water must be added to achieve that level of fluidity. Hence, if the expected workability exceeds 50 mm of slum, then water quantity has to be increased by 3% for every increase of 25 mm slum. This correction has to be applied on WC1 and the updated value should be reported as WC2. Third correction is admixture correction. Chemical admixtures are added into mixes to achieve higher workability and that too without compromising the strength of concrete. And therefore, 
if we are using the admixtures either plasticizers or super plasticizers water content has to be reduced if we have the results of water reduction then those results are to be considered for mixed design or else if we do not have test results then as per IS recommendations 5 to 10 percent of water reduction can be assumed for plasticizers and 20 to 30 percent of water reduction can be assumed for super plasticizers this correction has to be applied on WC2 and the updated value is reported as WC3 this is the final quantity of water required in the mix next step is the calculation of cementitious content we are designing the mix design for ordinary concrete assuming that the cement is only part of cementitious material in earlier steps we already finalized water cement ratio and water content of the mix the cementitious content can be obtained as WC3 divided by X this obtained cementitious content has to be checked against the minimum and maximum cement contents specified by IS 456 2000. The limit on minimum cement content is provided based on the strength criteria and it varies with the exposure conditions. Whereas the limit on maximum cement content is based on durability criteria. In no case, cement should exceed 450 kgs per meter cube of concrete next step is obtaining the quantity of admixture we cannot use excess amount of admixture to reduce water content in the mix to achieve higher strength IS code limits the use of chemical admixture as the percentage of cement content in the mix as per Indian standards if you are using plasticizers then its addition should not exceed 1% as quantity of cement and if you are using super plasticizer then it should not exceed 2%. So let the percentage of admixture be Y%. Percent. Therefore the quantity of admixture can be calculated using the expression given here. Step 7 is about estimation of coarse aggregate in total mix. Table 5 of IS 10262-2019 gives the proportion of coarse aggregate in the mix depending on the nominal maximum size of coarse aggregate and grading zone of fine aggregate. This value is only the quantitative measure of proportion of coarse aggregate to total aggregate in the mix. However, it should not be confused with grading of coarse aggregate. Once the proportion of coarse aggregate is finalized in the mix further gradation of coarse aggregate can be decided as per the clauses of IS 383-2016 for instance if you wish to use 20 mm 12.5 mm and 10 mm of aggregates as a part of coarse aggregate proportion then to get the percentage of coarse aggregate in the mix the nominal maximum size of aggregate will be 20 mm and the proportion has to be chosen from table 5 corresponding to 20 mm of aggregate and the known zone of fine aggregate the values given in table 5 are valid for water cement ratio of 0.5 and for normal reinforcement however if we are using any other water cement ratio in the mix then aggregate proportion need to be altered there are two corrections for finalizing the coarse aggregate proportion the first correction is water cement ratio correction as per IS recommendations for every decrease of water cement ratio by 0.05 coarse aggregate proportion needs to be increased by 0.01 and vice versa so if the value taken from table 5 is P then after this correction it needs to be reported as P1. Second correction is for congested reinforcement or pumpable concrete. 
if we want a pumpable concrete then it is obvious that we need lesser proportion of coarse aggregate similarly if the member we are casting is heavily reinforced then we need to lower the proportion of coarse aggregate therefore as per is recommendations for pumpable concrete or congested reinforcement or for both the conditions reduce the proportion by 10% this correction has to be applied on p1 and the updated value is reported as p2 this is final proportion of coarse aggregate in the mix next step is the estimation of fine aggregate proportion we know that total aggregate in the mix are coarse aggregate and fine aggregates in the previous step we obtained the proportion of coarse aggregate therefore proportion of fine aggregate will be equal to 1 minus the proportion of coarse aggregate step 9 is about obtaining the volumes of ingredients after completing all the preliminary calculation now it's turn to obtain the volume of cement volume of water and the volume of other constituents first is the volume of cement which is obtained with the expression given below mass of cement is already obtained in step 5 and specific gravity of cement needs to be obtained by conducting specific gravity test second is volume of water mass of water is already calculated as wc3 in step 4 specific gravity can be considered as 1 for nominal water however if it is sea water or a saline water then it will be slightly lower next is volume of admixture we know the mass of admixture as percentage of mass of cement also specific gravity of admixture is given by the manufacturer so the volume of admixture in 1 meter cube of concrete can be calculated using the expression given here next is volume of air content the volume of air content is already obtained from table 3 of IS 10262-2019 let's move to calculation of volume of aggregates we know that the volume of concrete is 1 meter cube and if we deduct all of the volumes from 1 meter cube of concrete we will get the actual volume of aggregates this volume of aggregates will be inclusive of both coarse aggregate as well as fine aggregate in the mix almost we have obtained quantities of all the ingredients in previous slides only quantities of aggregates are remaining we only fixed the proportion of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate in the mix design mass of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate can be obtained from the expressions given here where p and q are the proportions of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate in the mix step 10 is about summarizing the proportions now we can report the proportions as cement is to water is to coarse aggregate is to fine aggregate is to admixture content step 11 deals with applying site corrections the proportions obtained in step 10 are lab mix proportions these are for saturated surface dry aggregates but in situ conditions may vary mostly aggregates both fine aggregates as well as coarse aggregates undergo water absorption or may have excess free surface moisture that alters the water content in the mix therefore these corrections need to be applied when there is water absorption water from the mix is absorbed by the aggregates thereby reducing the water content in the mix which leads to change in water cement ratio therefore a correction is applied such that the additional water is added into the mix to balance water cement ratio and to counterbalance the additional water aggregate quantities are to be reduced this alteration is done as per the following formula given similarly when there is excess of free surface moisture additional water is available in the mix which automatically alters the water cement ratio 
to maintain constant water cement ratio water content in the mix needs to be reduced to counterbalance this aggregate quantities are slightly increased this alteration is as per the formula given below now let's see the sample example given in appendix a of is 10262 these are the quantities and this is the test data assuming that all the tests are performed in the laboratory if we follow the procedure discussed in this tutorial we will come up with final quantities as shown in this table also if there are some side corrections and if those are applied the corrected quantities are as shown in this table if you are designing a mix for single time then following this whole procedure and obtaining the proportions by manual calculations is fine but if you have to make multiple trial mixes with varying water cement ratio or if you have to make a mix for different purposes with different grade of concrete and different exposure conditions then doing all these steps manually is not very feasible so to get rid of this problem i have created an excel sheet in which you have to give your input data and it will directly give you the mix proportions this is how the excel sheet looks like in this sheet you have to give all input parameters such as design grade of concrete exposure conditions and the expected slump value also you need to give the ingredient properties such as specific gravity water absorption and free moisture content of aggregates if we give all those input parameters then we can directly get the lab mix design proportion as well as the in situ mix design proportions in this video i showed you the sample interface of mix design however if you want to know how to use this excel sheet do watch part 2 of this video thank you